Hi everyone, it's November 27, 2008. It's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. First of all, you know, it is Thanksgiving, and I want to say thank you, and I'm very thankful for all of my new friends, even if I haven't met you in person yet, my subscribers, and everybody else out there who knows me and who I know and love. Happy Thanksgiving, and bless you, bless you, bless you. First, we're going to talk about the pirates again. Hey, baby, hi! It seems the India, you know, Indian Navy sank a suspected pirate boat. It turned out to be a Thailand fishing trawler. Oops, sorry about that. But you told me to fire, sir. We, we all, sorry, guys. Guess you should fish in your own waters again, huh? Well, okay. They made a mistake. It happens. Hey, you know what? It is Thanksgiving. And, you know, a lot of turkeys have been real unhappy for the last month. I'm going to give you a recipe to make a few other turkeys even unhappier. Here you go. When we get done here, go to Google, type in IRS tax cheaters. And, oh my, now on the first one that I found yesterday, I clicked it on. And, you know, they even give you the form. And did you know, and of course you do, and it's like I said in my book... You know, what they don't teach you in school is just as important as what they do teach you. Did you know the IRS will give you a reward, 1, 10, or 15% with a $2 million cap on all of them, if they do find through your information, and it doesn't have to be real specific, that somebody cheated on their taxes. Now, I've talked before about business owners who, you know, will bring their personal home garbage in and throw away in their dumpster which cheats all of us out of hundreds of millions of dollars a year that's a small change and I'm telling you right now the CEO of Ford and the Palins are mine because I'm going to bet right now money that I don't have all the clothes did not get turned back to charity that's income and the CEO of Ford, as I reported earlier the, in the month, last week I believe it was actually, he gets to use the company jet. And it's in his contract. He doesn't fly commercial at all. No business, no first class, no coach. He uses the personal jet. Now, this sucker lives in Seattle, Washington. So he flits home on the company dime every weekend and of course comes back now he doesn't even live in the city he's ruining or helping to ruin but you know we get to pay for his travel home I'm betting the IRS will think that's unearned income and as I reported his wife also gets to use to flit around wherever a Ford company jet and I'm betting that's unearned income as I said, folks, hey, all you got to do is go to a library or a computer cafe, print out the forms, fill them in. And it's, again, 1, 10, or 15 percent, depending on the specificity of your information. Turn them in. You know, Al Capone in the Roaring Twenties, biggest gangster of them all, the untouchables couldn't even touch him. Of course, he couldn't touch them, but it was finally the IRS boys got him. Now, this man committed himself several murders and ordered a whole heck of a lot more. He didn't go to jail for that, but he got it for tax evasion. Let's get the big dogs out. See, I'm not only entertaining, but informative. IRS tax cheaters on Google. Click on them and, you know, fill out the forms, send them in. It's what we pay these guys for. Let's get them. Let's get them all. Stuff those turkeys! Last but not least, why should you not tell jokes when you're ice fishing? Well, the ice might crack up. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's Schmuck Look. Peace, folks. Happy Thanksgiving.